okay guys hey i'm back again with another video if you saw the thumbnail you saw my friends plymouth laser it's a souped up rice racer well actually it's a plymouth so you can't call it a rice racer but it moves 2,000 horsepower to be exact am i wrong or am i right 2,000 horsepower uh, it's still around a thousand. about a thousand it's still run like it's 2000 so we're gonna take a look at it okay go ahead it's a 92 Plymouth laser all-wheel drive it's an aluminum ride motor <clears throat> 10,000 rpm motor pushing close to 50 pounds of boost two times uh, 110 Sunoco uh, our blast drive uh, got just about everything in it port and pilot shed all the big dials. It's set up for a 300 shot of nitrous, but there's no nitrous on it. Uh, I just play with it on the street. A lot of fun on the street as it is. Run that much amount of boost. Uh, it's set up pretty nice. Hey, Jeff, tell them your full name. Uh, by the way, guys, this is Jeff of Wild Imports. Tell me your full name, please. Uh, Jeff Kovechi. Kovechi. So Jeff Kovechi used to own a, a speed shop. So when it comes down to this car, he knows everything about it in and out. So this is all he does, and this is a beauty. Let me let him uh, finish telling something about this car here. Uh, they didn't make many of the Plymouth Laser. The Eagle Town and the Mitsubishi Eclipse was a more desirable uh, one at the time. So I made this look like the Eagle Town, because I prefer the Eagle Town look. But they're all the same car, just different badges and, and uh, different uh, moldings and so forth. Other than that, all the parts are interchangeable. They're all the same. Um, I've had. I've lost count really. This is either my 15th or 16th one. Um, it's just a blast to drive. Uh, fun street car. That's basically what I do. It was a drag car. I just put it back on the street and have a little fun on the street. But uh, uh, you can see it's cage. Uh, there's only two seats in it. No, no rear seat. It's been pretty much everything done to it. Uh, a lot of the suspension's all rebuilt. It's all repainted. All the inside repainted. The cage has been painted. I'm the third owner of it, so it's uh, a more of the rarity. Usually, a lot of people own these. So, and um, let me say, can you tell them about the fuel, the mix you was telling me about? Uh, this one here was tuned on the Sunoco 110. Most people. I prefer the VP, like Q16 or C16 or E85, but uh, for this one, it was tuned on the street. So in the area that it was tuned, there was only Sunoco available. So that's why it was tuned on that. Uh, otherwise, I prefer something different, but it, it does good with that fuel. But uh, when you run that amount of boost, you know, of course, you got to have a lot of octane and so forth. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a good look at the car. And um, I'm going to go do a walk around this beautiful Plymouth Laser. And you can see right off the bat, <laughs> the front end is basically, it looks like a robot. And I'm going to tell you, it looks like something right off of Buck Rogers, those uh, robots they had, those robot soldiers. And you had that laser in the middle going back and forth. Yeah, this thing is nice. Let's get a little bit close up on the motor because I know you guys would like to see that and how this is set up. And the thing about it, with these cars, they're already light cars, but can you imagine this thing with nitrous hooked up to it and have a different tune on to get full boost off of nitrous? So this thing, you think it could get up to 2,000? 2, 2,000 horsepower? Uh, it won't make it. it it'll make, you could probably run, it'll run at least 1,000 horsepower. You could probably run it a little more. You do a little more to it, but uh, it's nice. You know, it's set up. It's got three fuel pumps set up to push, you know, four nitrous and then part it all set up for it. That's really nice. It's a nice setup on this thing. This is all light body, man. As you can see, the roll cage installed. Dashboard is there. I mean, 
It's really, really clean car, man. Look at that on the stairwell. The instrument panel here. Stick shift, ain't it? Yeah, it's five speed. Dual oh, it's a five speed dual clutch. Yeah. Well, there you go. Racing seats, passenger, driver's side, nothing in the back, of course. That's where you gotta have it. Definitely nothing in the back. Light as possible. Solid sound. Single exhaust in the back here. Everything but a fuel cell, right? Yeah, it has factory tank. It dies. It's got three fuel pumps. Man, three fuel pumps, why? Uh, if you're gonna run nitrous, well, you, first of all, you have a lot of fuel up to the motor with that much boost. But uh, if you're gonna run nitrous, you gotta have uh, extra fuel to run the nitrous. That's what it's set up for. Okay. We're gonna look at the driver's side here. See if we can really get in here. Look at that. Buck 40 on the dash. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's a real nice car. Train coming. Yeah, this is real nice.